Welcome to a another episode of Basic Room Review. I think that was unnecessary. <laughs> it kind You're of unnecessary. That, that hurt my That's everything. not true because they're... No, don't we even... Sh we need our, all of our opinions here, right? I mean, the basement's pretty necessary there. Anyways, anymore. we've been drinking. <laughs> it's fun. Season four. And we got another beer to review. Hmm? So this is a seasonal beer. We picked it up from Burnt Hickory Brewing in Kennesaw, Georgia. It is Noggin Knocker, so it's Eggnog Stout. It's their 2020 edition. It is a rum barrel-aged Eggnog Wait. Stout at 13%. Can we take a second to appreciate the fact that it says on the side of the bottle, you'll be sorry. You'll. 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 You'll, you'll be sorry. 13% Eggnog Stout. Yeah, it's right. Probably because it's snowing in Georgia today. Not necessarily oh. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Georgia, I've got it's snow. At yeah. my house, when it's snowing coming. right now. <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 Merry Love. Christmas. Oh. Oh, my God. It smells like rum and nutmeg. It's tasty. That is beautiful. I mean, it's it's... It's a color that's not really oh, the, appealing. The color's a little bit strange, yeah, but they, 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 they don't filter anything there. It's a doo-doo brown. So it's unfiltered. Well, it I don't... Unfiltered. That is not a 13% beer. Oh, it's... At all. It doesn't taste like 13. That would... This whole bottle by yourself is dangerous. I could... Honestly, I could sit down, I could drink the whole bottle, and then sometime tomorrow I'm going to wonder... Where I am and how I ended up there. Didn't I bring a bottle to your house? Yeah, and I woke up the next day and I wondered where so I was. was. <laughs> and what <laughs> like, happened the night before. You'll be yeah. sorry. I love, I love eggnog. I really do. And I think this beer has got a fantastic. I can taste a little bit of rum. I can taste some nutmeg. Mm -hmm. it's really good. Oh, well, the nutmeg in here is amazing. The color is this, this concerning. Do you know what you're getting into? It looks yeah. like a brown ale, it an looks, unfiltered brown. Well, it looks, it looks like, like me. That's what it's supposed milk. to be. Oh <laughs> no, it's a little lighter than you who, but you're yeah you're on the right track. It's kind of milky. Um, the flavors are good though. Happy this, holidays. Yeah. This smells. It smells like that. It's amazing. It, it smells like Christmas, like that mm -hmm. allspice and it tastes cinnamon like cinnamon and pine trees. Yeah, and it does. It's got yeah. It's, it has that flavor. And I I like that there's no cinnamon. in well, I've, I've talked about it. in this in this this season. I've talked about flavors mm -hmm. and yep. inducing memories, and this is what I'm talking about. It, Tyler said like, it's, it's that you think about Christmas at home and mm -hmm. yeah. smell walking in mom, the fresh baked bread and the desserts. Oh, yeah. My mom used to make pancakes with nutmeg in them for yeah. Christmas. This and is, it was it's, just, it's beautiful. Well, I think the beauty, the beauty of food, drink in general, is to you bring back memories. It's memories. That's the whole reason you do it. You make memories yeah. and you bring back memories. So this brings back memories. So I think it's it's doing something. Not just tasting good; it's an existential right success. It's bringing you back to where you were before. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, cheers to Burnt Hickory. They, to Hickory. they yeah. absolutely so nailed it. This is obviously, like we said, seasonal, so it's only available obviously Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. you're, you're, July. You're yeah. Yeah. yeah, July. Yeah, July. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, let's be honest. Christmas starts at what? Soon it's after Halloween ends. Yeah. So yeah. basically, right. well. I, I still believe well, no, it's, it's Christmas doesn't December. start until the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I believe you. it's November to December when they start. Retail does December. not agree with you, but I do. Yeah. Yes. So, the 25th of November, yeah. Christmas. Remember, remember. But the 25th, 25th of November. November. But I believe I bought this in January, so if you don't have a chance to get to the brewery, in time for Christmas time, they still have a couple of bottles yeah, yeah. available and I don't, after the holiday. I don't so. know. And, and I would love to see if you got comments on this video. I would love to see other places that have eggnog stuff. Yes, so I'm sure people do. So the best thing I can compare this to is um, my mother-in-law is like old Southern, like high gentry Southern. I don't know what that means. That, 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 like, that word does not make sense to me. Southern well, you still own people. Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> so she makes her own eggnog. Say she's racist, but that works. <laughs> yeah, she makes her own eggnog, and it's super rich and good. This is honestly <clears throat> the same flavors, just a little bit thinner. Well, if you've ever, if you've ever made eggnog, 
And if, if you make an egg like that, I do. I've got the eggnog in one hand. I've got a bottle of brandy in the other hand. Oh, and you're, she's you're, got like you're pitching at the egg, same time. She's got eggnog, and then you sprinkle the nutmeg on yeah. top, and then you get the moose hair, moose eared antler glass out. And you scoop it, you drink it like cousin Eddie, and you're having a good time. I mean, nothing says festive like hangover on Christmas Day. True. So, so what's your number? <laughs> Twelve. So, so <laughs> <laughs> this is that's honestly. Not, they're really so that you got around more than that. <laughs> So don't judge me. So it's it's it brings back those memories. <laughs> <laughs> so this is bringing back a lot of memories. So right? Justin, you know, bring back your grandmother's day. Number. Back in so, my day, we I, wouldn't have. Yeah. I like eggnog. I like beer. This is combined the two of them. I'm going to give it a four point five. Very good beer. Good flavors. Good spice. Yeah. I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying drinking with friends. It was the holiday oh. should be. Holidays. The this is a four point nine. And the only reason it doesn't get a five Woo! is because we are not like you days away from Christmas. If, if we, it was snowing outside and it was December twenty third, that would be a five. That would be a five. Ooh, okay. It, it is situational. That is the only reason this isn't a five. So I'm, I'm going to give it a four six, and that's honestly I've never ever really cared for eggnog. You know, when back when we lived mm-hmm. together. And we used to have the, the eggnog circle where everybody's passing it around. Nog, just, nogging in a straight line? Yeah, nogging in a straight line. Never wanted to participate in that. But this beer actually turned me on to that a bit. And I've actually enjoyed it. And I've had eggnog, like pure eggnog, since trying this. And this. And I've, at, you know, it, I've actually come around to it. So it's I, I want to give it a 4.6. Yeah. 5. Ooh. Damn. Deep. deep. It's 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 that good. I don't have to explain it. It just it tastes good. It's smooth, and you have no idea that it's thirteen percent. Yeah, and I, and I like I said I like beers that have alcohol taste, but when it's a high alcohol and you can't taste it, it's for some reason like it's special. This is because the taste of it overwhelms. Mm-hmm. Anything else that you can imagine? I, I just, it's, I just it's, like it. it doesn't taste hot. It doesn't taste overspiced. Right, right. Honestly, it's, like, it's, the, it's, it's the nutmeg for me. Personally. I could, I could sit down with this on the Fourth of July and be like, "Fuck, I taste Christmas." Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Christmas in July. Yeah. It makes me want to be. Cri- there we go. Christmas it, make, it makes you. It makes you want to put up a Christmas tree. It makes me feel festive. Yes, we can. We can do that. Do we are not taking the Christmas trees out of my attic no, no, right now. You have pine trees in your backyard. Let's no, just go cut a tree. Fuck it, boys. We're cutting a tree down. And on that note, hey, trees, may the brew be with you. Christmas in July. You know, we could just go get some Christmas lights and just like... Mm-hmm. No, no, oh, no, 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 we, we, we got to cut a tree down. You said you got an electric chainsaw. Yeah, but it's a small electric chainsaw. But chainsaw. your HOA is going to be super fucking... Fuck the HOA. <laughs> They're not, actually.